it was sort of really, really unexpected and, and, and hit me in, in, in a way that I never thought it would have. It was, it, was, it was pretty drastic. You know, I always thought that sort of with a job that I have, being fit and healthy and not knowing of any other underlying health issues, that if I did get it, then hopefully I would be, maybe be able to shake it off in terms of a cold. But it hit me uh, far, far harder than that, unfortunately. For three days, it felt like my lungs wouldn't open. And then I would go into a coffin fit and I would do that for about half an hour. I remember phoning my doc and I was like, doc, doc, I'm proper struggling here. Like I'm struggling to breathe. And we, we had a serious conversation about whether I should go to, to the emergency unit. And obviously with my condition of, of, of being asthmatic um, and not being able to breathe. So I was like, I, I don't really want to go if I don't have to, to take up resources. But I said, I'm in a, like, not being able to breathe is, is, a, is a major thing. So um, I might to get a, a dose of, of, of antibiotics uh, which which have been linked to sort of help with with the symptoms of having COVID so I started that course and then day by day that's when I started to get better so decided not to go. What's your message not only to maybe other footballers but to the wider public? It's like Russian roulette really with the virus so what I would say is just don't take the risk uh, you know use the opportunity of, of, of the free testing that you have around where you've got